Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be making homemade chicken and vegetable pies. And so you can see the different ways of making them, I've got four different variations of them with different sauces. So keep watching the video to find out the four different ways. And I'm And I'd love it if you commented on the video to let me know what your favourite might be or if you think of any other ideas for fillings that you'd like to show me to show you. Um, if you do like the video, do give it a thumbs up and of course share it on social media so your friends can see the, the video as well and make them aware of the channel so they can see the videos that go up every Wednesday. And I'd love it if you haven't done so already, if you can subscribe. If you hit the notification bell, um, it gives you just a gentle reminder that when the video has come up. I've put the flour into the food processor already. We're going to be putting half fat to flour. And you want to cut up your butter into small pieces. And I know this sounds a bit strange, but the, I find the easiest way to do it is just to slice up the butter with a pair of scissors. If you just do small slices, with and, and then just cut it up into little squares. It just makes it easier for the food processor. So you just put this into the food processor. So you've got your, your butter and you've got your flour. Turn it on. Now it doesn't take long. And as you can see, it's this kind of crumbly mixture and all the butter is gone into little tiny bits that you can hardly see. And then all you do is when you turn it back on again, slowly pour some water into the top. So as you can see at this point, um, it's kind of almost coming together. And if you just kind of squash it with your hand, you'll see it all starts combining and that's ready for to make your pastry. Okay, so you just take this all out onto the worktop. Now, if you want to know how to do this by hand, I'll put a link below to another video where I show you how to do pastry by hand if you've not got a food processor. So you just bring this all together and kind of make it into a bowl, bowl I mean. Put some cling film on it and then you just store this in the fridge for about half an hour. If you do forget and you store it in the fridge for longer, say if you do it overnight, just remember to take it out a good hour before you start working with it because it will get very hard if you leave it in for too long. Okay, so you just want to cut up some chicken into very small pieces. And as most of you know by now, as I tend to cut things with a pair of scissors rather than a knife. I just find it easier. And you want really tiny pieces of chicken, kind of about that size. Okay, so you want to dice up some carrot, very small. And I don't take the skin off, but you can if you want to. So if you just get kind of thin pieces, roughly like that. And then just cut lengthways, turn it around and then cut it that way. And you get lots of nice little squares. Because they're only little individual pies, you want your vegetables to be fairly small. Now with a broccoli again, you want to cut that into little tiny pieces. And then you want some small size slices of leek. So you would cut across this way. And then cut like that. And so you could have small pieces. And remember to keep your fingers bent so you're not going to cut yourself. So you can get your blade close to your fingers, but you're not going to cut them. Okay, so then you're going to slice the potatoes like that and then cut lengthways and turn it and then cut them that way. So you're going to get little squares. So you kind of want little squares like this. You don't want anything too big and chunky in these little individual pies. And then with the spinach, just cut it up into, into little pieces as well. So get a nice hot wok, put a bit of olive oil in, put your chicken in, your potatoes, carrots, leeks and broccoli and you just cook that for about 10 or 15 minutes all together if you find it getting a little bit dry just add a little bit more olive oil add a bit of salt a bit of pepper 
Okay, so as you can see, after about 10 or 15 minutes of cooking, this is just a nice mixture of the chicken and the vegetables. And at the very last minute, you just add your spinach. All right, now I've just separated these into four different bowls because I'm going to be showing you how to do four different types of chicken and vegetable pies. I know normally you would just mix it all in one bowl for yourself and do one particular one, but today I'm just going to be doing four different ones. All right, I'm just going to make a little bit of white sauce for one of them. So I'm just going to melt some butter. Now in here I've got five grams of butter. You, you don't need a lot. You're just making a very tiny amount. We've got five grams of flour. So whenever you're making some, always put the same amount of flour as to the same amount of butter. And then cook this for about a minute. And then add a tiny bit of milk at a time. Okay, so when it, you, you're adding about 50 to 60 mils of milk. This is per pie. So obviously if you're doing two pies, you double that and so on. So it's kind of like this nice thick consistency. And you want about half a teaspoon of paprika. I mean, the paprika is optional. You can have that if you want. I like it with paprika. But if you don't want to, just have it as a normal white sauce. Or you can add a bit of cheese to it to make a cheese sauce. It's up to you. Or parsley for a bit of parsley sauce. There's so many different variations and I'd love to hear your comments. Now we're simply just going to add this sauce into our bowl with our chicken and vegetables. And you can see by adding the paprika, the lovely colour. So just give this a mix around and that's ready to fill in your pie in a minute. To make the next filling, we're going to add half a stock cube. Okay, and then you put about 90 ml of hot water and just let that dissolve and cook on a low heat just for a few minutes. It doesn't need to be long. And then what you want to do is just put a small amount of flour and a couple of teaspoons of water. And all you have to do is just mix that around until all the flour dissolves. And then you add this flour mixture into the stock cube and water. And you just let this cook for a few minutes. Now the flour will kind of clump together, that's okay. That will again dissolve and once it's dissolved, then that's ready to put in your chicken and vegetable mixture. And again, I'm only doing enough for one pie. So if you're doing more than one, you just times it by however many you're cooking. So we're simply just going to add this into her, our chicken and vegetables and give this a mix around. Because you don't want loads and loads of sauce. So this is why I'm kind of giving you these measurements. Because you want a bit of sauce, obviously, in your pie, but you don't want it to be really liquidy either and make the pastry go soggy so this is just a perfect amount okay so to make a curry sauce um you can make your own and i can show you in a different video how to do that but because i'm only just making one pie i'm just kind of cheating and using this curry powder you just add a bit of water so we want two teaspoons of the curry powder and then you add 80 mils of hot water and as you can see, it's fairly thin at this point. So all you do is heat it up for a few minutes. So if you just put the, the kind of watery curry sauce in the pot and just put it on the heat for a few minutes, you'll find it will get nice and thick because you don't want it too watery for the pie. You want it nice and thick. So we simply just add that into our chicken and vegetables and then that's ready for to put in our pie. Okay, so to the fourth filling, we're just adding some cheese. And I've got here 50 grams of cheese. And just give it a mix around as much as you can. And of course, it will all melt in when it goes into the oven. You'll have that lovely chicken, cheese and vegetable filling. So just sprinkle some flour onto your worktop. All right, just to make it a bit easier to work with, I'm just going to cut this in half and then half again. So that'll be our four pies. Right, we're going to use these tins. I mean, you don't have to use tins, but I, I just find it makes it that little bit easier. So what I've done... Because I haven't got a cutter that's the same size as this, I've just found this blue lid, which is the same size as the bottom of this. But I want it to be bigger because I want it to come up to the sides. So I use this as a template. And I just put a little bit of flour onto my rolling pin. And I'm going to roll this pastry out. So if you can imagine that and about, say, an inch bigger than that lid, I'm going to just cut around with a knife. Better to be a little bit too big than too small. So as you can see, this will be the base of the pie. So, and you're just going to push that 
inside and that's ready for your filling and then what you want to do is cut a circle out for the lid of the pie so again that little bit bigger so that will just go on top of your filling so now we're just going to fill our pies so make sure that your mixture is cooled before you put it in because otherwise sometimes if it's too hot it will kind of melt the pastry just make sure it's not around the edges so that was the white sauce with the propika this is the one with the, the stock cube and the flour and this is the the chicken curry one now with the cheese one maybe it'd be nice just to put a little bit of cheese at the bottom and then put your mixture on the top of that and then you can always just sprinkle a little bit of the cheese on the top then what you want to do is you can use milk or egg but i just find milk easier just put a little bit in a dish dip your finger in and go around the edges of the pastry and as i said you know if you try these i would love to hear in the comments of what you thought and if you've tried more than one of them tell me what your favorite is maybe you don't have a favorite maybe you just love them all all you do with the lids is just put a bit of milk around the edge and you're basically going to put that lid on top like that and then kind of just press down a little bit around the edge doesn't matter if it's a little bit big around the edge because you can just cut a little bit of the excess off you can just cut around the edge to kind of tidy it up a little bit if you wanted to and then you want to stick either a, a couple of holes with a knife or you can just get your fork and prod a couple of holes in with the fork and then just go around the edge with a fork to make a little bit of a pattern and it's also make sure that you push down on your pie properly now it, it's good that it's all kind of rounded because it will flatten a little bit as it goes in the oven so it's good to have it nice and big and round on top like this and you do that with all of them and then i'll show you what they look like when they come out and here's the close-up of the pie don't they look nice so we're just going to cut one open so you can see it so this is the one with the white sauce doesn't that look amazing right this is the one with the stock cube see how lovely that looks inside and this is the lovely curry one and that has got such a delicious flavor and this is the one with the cheese look at that that is so nice well i hope you enjoy yours thank you for watching today's video on how to make chicken and vegetable pies 